Testament is made up of various books. There are also long books that contain a lot of content, such as Genesis, Psalms, and Isaiah. There are also short books that contain less content, such as Song of Songs, Ruth, Lamentations, Ecclesiastes, Esther, and etc. Usually, Jews would read some short books related to their history during their holiday times. Among those, the book of Ruth is said to have been read a lot during the Pentecost, a season when the Israelites gave thanks to God after spring harvest. What meaning does the book of Ruth contain, and why is it read a lot during the harvest season? Chapter 1 of the book of Ruth is a story about the time when the judges ruled Israel. At that time, there was no king in Israel, so each person made important decisions based on what they thought was right. You might think it would have been a good world because they lived freely, but in reality, that wasn't necessarily true. There was a severe drought, and difficult times came. In the book of Deuteronomy from the Old Testament, it is said that the cause of the famine was the sins of the Israelites. So the Bible tells people to reflect on themselves and repent during the harvest season, and to take good care of the poor. However, there was a couple named Elimelech and Naomi who lived in the Bethlehem area. They didn't have much interest in looking after themselves and helping the poor. When the famine came, he took his two sons and left for a region called Moab. As time passed, the two sons got married there. But Naomi's family's life took a turn for the worst. Naomi's husband died, and her two sons also faced death. How should these three women, Naomi and her son's wives, live now? But at that time, news came from Bethlehem that the famine had ended and a good harvest had come again. Naomi had no reason to stay in Moab any longer. She decided to return to her hometown, and she told her two daughters-in-law to go their own way. Of the two daughters-in-law, a woman named Orpah stayed in Moab, but her other daughter-in-law named Ruth did not listen to her mother-in-law Naomi. She said, Please don't force me to leave your side or to go back and not follow you. Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Your people will become my people, and your God will be my God. Eventually, Naomi and Ruth returned to Bethlehem together. In fact, the name Naomi means joy, and upon returning to her hometown, Naomi tells people to call her name Mara. Mara means suffering. It seems like it was because her life had been so difficult. However, long ago, during the time of Moses, there was an incident related to the name Mara. God changed the bitter water from the spring called Mara into sweet water and supplied it to the Israelites. The same thing happened in Naomi's bitter life as if she was drinking sweet water. It was thanks to Ruth, who followed her mother-in-law's path towards God and her people, Israel. When you look at the end of chapter 4 of the book of Ruth, you will find the genealogy of one family in Israel. You can find Ruth there. Ruth gave birth to a son named Obed. Naomi was happy to hold her son, but it didn't end there. Obed gave birth to Jesse and Jesse gave birth to the famous King David. Ruth, a woman from Moab who seemed like she would disappear without a name, became one of God's people and firmly resolved to follow him. Not only did she bring joy to Naomi, but she also brought great joy to the nation of Israel. Music